The transfer window has shut. And while there's been a little bit of movement, not much, we have signed someone I have been scouting for a long, long time and I've wanted to sign for a long, long time. And I think he's going to be a very good addition to the squad. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to the Liberty Stadium in Swansea and if you are new to the channel then why not subscribe, watch, like and comment, help the channel to grow and help us to support the very worthwhile cause that you can see scrolling above. And if you are a regular follower then you'll know it's becoming a two horse race in the Premier League between Swansea and Manchester City and we are currently four points clear of Manchester City with 65 points after 26 games and before we go to what's been happening on the pitch I think we should have a look at what's been happening in the transfer market and if we um, have a look very little happened um, and uh, if we look at what's who's gone out to begin with well you know that we had sold uh, Shane Lavery for 23 million pounds to Shakhtar and earlier in the window we had sold Chodbury to Benfica for 18.25 million um, the only other thing in terms of going out that's happened so far is that Ben Lloyd has gone out on load to Salzburg um, because he just simply wasn't getting enough playing time in order to help his development so we decided to let him go and um, um, the big news with someone we've been chasing for a very long time, Kem Karacha, has come in from uh, Bayer Leverkusen for £81 million and we finally landed our man. He is a utility player, um, someone we needed who could cover many, many different areas of the pitch and uh, he um, probably will be looking at starting as a DM or a right back. And... Um, he, I think, is going to be a very, very good addition to the squad now. He's classed as a wonder kid. I've had my eye on him for a long, long time before I knew that. And uh, we finally, finally landed our man. And I think it's going to be a very, very good move, that. And the only other thing... Um, that is going on is uh, Daniel Amati is uh, considering a move to Shakhtar he's in contract talks with them it is likely that he will move Shakhtar is his preferred club and it is likely that he will go out and so um uh, Kem Karacha will be an absolutely delightful replacement for him. So things are looking good and they're also looking good in terms of what's happening on the pitch. And when you were last with us, you saw us beating Bournemouth by four goals to nil. And we followed that up with a very good 2-2 draw against Manchester City. And then against Fulham at home, we had a very nice 2-1 victory coming from behind in that game and then we followed that up with a, a narrow victory against poor Everton um, and just finished by a, go a goal to nil and then we had a nervy 1-1 draw against Chelsea to see January out a very busy January and results in January have been very good and so we um, today we will be playing Everton and then we will be following that up with the FA Cup fourth round against Leicester at home. And um, I think that we could have two very good games for you today. And so the first thing to do is let's go and play against Everton. And so the team for today is Stankovic in goal. He is getting a little run out today with Mela, Williams, Bongiorno and Cambiasso at the back. Berg, Pobega, Shortire and Adley in midfield. And Brogia and Vatinia. We'll start up front and we hope that this we are going to continue our run of good form and that we will play a little better than we did um, against Chelsea and that we will come away from here with the three points and that will mean that we can maintain our distance at the top of the Premier League from Manchester City who are currently back in good form and um, let's hope that we can score early, get ourselves on the board, and let's change that to key highlights, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to be seeing more than the key highlights. And it is Everton who are, got the first highlight. And um, 
although that's probably just because um, we had it on extended highlights. But we need the ball, so we need to get in their face a little bit more and get the ball. And there's a long ball up the field looking for Mahon on the wing, but that's gone harmlessly out of play. And it would be nice to get an early goal. Everton are poor starters um, traditionally, and it would be nice to get on the scoreboard um, before they... Um, come into the game a little bit more later and here is Mailer. Mailer's looking for Adley, Adley to Shortire, Shortire to Pabega, Pabega finds Vatinia, Vatinia finds Cambiasso, Shortire, he's looking for Adley and he's hit the bar and I think it's going out for a corner, no it's um, offside um, and uh, um, it remains Swansea nil nil with Everton and looking for Berg Berg, Berg all the way back to Reese Williams. Reese Williams, who is a very good defender, doesn't have the star rating of some of his, his colleagues, but he is a very, very reliable, good defender. And Swansea have a chance, and it's come to Brozier, and Brozier has put it away. It is Everton nil, Swansea won, and Brozier, back in the, se in the team after being rested for a couple of weeks, has made it Everton nil, Swansea won. He found some space in the box, the ball seemed to ricochet around a lot and short tires cross it ricocheted about a bit but Brozier was there and he's not going to miss that he is a very very good accomplished striker and that was bread and butter for him and we have made the early start that we wanted Everton are notoriously poor starters and if we can pile on the pressure now um, and score a couple more before they wake up then we will be well in control and here comes Brozier Brozier is looking to go down the line he's got a deep cross in and that has hit the bar again and it comes out to Brozier again Brozier can he get a cross in he finds Adley Adley's looking for Vatinia the marking is poor in the Everton defence Adley has it he's looking to cross it in again and it's blocked it comes back to Adley and there's another chance it is all Swansea at the moment um, we would like the second goal to give ourselves a little cushion as Shorter finds Adley and Adley's shot is fired wide of the post and it is all Swansea and we are looking very, very good indeed. Uh, Manchester City are still drawing at home to Crystal Palace, which is obviously a very good result if it stays that way as Shortire and Cambiasso finds Brozier, Pobega. We are looking good in terms of controlling the ball and this hopefully will be a very nice victory for us at the end of the day. And here comes Williams. Williams is driving forward. He looks for Adley. Adley for Williams. And that's all the way back to Stankovic in goal. And here's Buongiorno. Buongiorno. He's going to look outside for Cambiasso. And there it is. And Pobega has the ball in the middle of the field. And it comes, finds its way to Brozier. And Brozier over the top to Vatinia. Can Vatinia score? It is Everton nil, Swansea two. And Brozier Vatinia combination has come off again. Brozier's lovely vision found Vatinia in space. We have got the second goal. We've got the cushion. And we just need to go on now. Pile the pressure on them. And it was a beautiful ball. And Vatinia was on hand to side foot it in. And it is Everton nil, Swansea two. And what a start. And we are still six points clear at the top of the table as Manchester City are still drawing with Crystal Palace. Um, but unfortunately, Manchester City have scored two in quick succession. So it's still going knock for knock between us and Manchester City. And it's going to go all the way, all the way this one. And uh, Buongiorno, he finds Berg. Berg, all the way back to Stankovic. Stankovic with a long ball up upfield and it finds its way to Shortire. Shortire is driving forward and he's tried to chip the goalkeeper and I think the goalkeeper got fingertips to that and has prevented it, prevented the goal and it remains 2-0 to Swansea as Adley looks to take the corner. He's looking for Reese Williams but it's cleared and that is half time and it is Everton nil, Swansea 2 and um we need to tell them that they're doing very well and they are capable of even better. And let's wind them up a little bit. Let's get going. Let's take the game to Everton now. Everton have made a change. 
and um, they obviously are um, concerned about how much possession we have actually had. And Mailer, Mailer's looking over the top, and he's going to find. And there is a long ball forward. It comes to Pabega, Shortire, Shortire looking for Brozier, Brozier into Cambiasso, and it's Brozier in the clear, and Brozier has scored. It is Everton nil, Swansea three. We are totally in control of this game, and. 3-0 away from home is about as good a result as I could have expected and it's lovely football Cambiasso found Shortire who fed him Brozier the goalkeeper I've no idea what he's doing but we'll take that it's 3-0 and what a game Brozier is having and it's lovely to see him back leading the line for Swansea and here is Adley with a corner he's looking for Buongiorno and that is just over the crossbar and we are still piling on the pressure here and Everton have made another substitution. I think um, they are really concerned about how we are dominating this game. Stankovic finds Williams. Williams to Berg. We are going to tell Berg to come off um, the tackles a little bit. He doesn't need to be tackling so hard. It is Mailer. Mailer. He's looking to go down the right and finds Adley inside. Adley over the top to Vitinha to Brozier. It is now 4 0, and I think that is Brozier's hat trick. Absolutely brilliant play by Swansea. It's now 4 0, and I couldn't have wished for a better result than that. Adley with a beautiful ball. Vitinha's vision found Brozier in space. And it is now Everton nil, Swansea 4. It is game over. Things could not be better. And uh, we are about to make some changes. I think uh, Mela needs to come off. So we will bring on Daniel Amati, um, possibly one of his last games that he will ever play. Adley is looking tired. Um, I think it's time for Moses Etim to have a little run out and um, see what he can do. And here is Adley. Adley, uh, and he's had the ball taken off him this time, but he and Everton are looking to build down the left. We just need to just make, don't do anything silly now. And this game is all but one. And there uh, are Everton looking to play a long ball forward, but we've contained that very, very easily. It's still Everton nil, Swansea four, clean sheet will be nice. Um, we're going to bring Cambiasso off um, and put on Augustinson, who hasn't had a run out for a little while. And uh, we'll give him a little bit of a run out. And Swansea pick up the ball. It is Cambiasso. Cambiasso looking forward to Shortire. Shortire. Here's, here's Brozier. Brozier to Etim. And Brozier is in. Can he get a fourth? Yes, he can. It is Everton nil. Swansea five. And Brozier has Four in this game and what an absolutely brilliant performance it has been by the entire Swansea team and in particular Brozier who's been absolutely lethal in front of goal it is now Everton nil Swansea five and this is giving a real message to Manchester City that we are still around and um we are not going to lie down. And can we even get some more? Um, it is Stankovic. Stankovic over the ball. He finds Williams. Williams, who's had a very nice game today. And he finds Armati. Armati is going to look back for Williams. And lovely football. It's Shortire. Shortire is looking for Brozier. He's surely not going to get his fifth. <laughs> it is a good save by Pickford. And that would have been... Possibly a record for me if Brozier had got his fifth goal of the game. I don't think I've ever had a striker score five as Williams heads a corner over the bar. We have totally dominated Everton today. Possession, XG, shots, shots on target. We have just played them off the park. And Pickford picks up the ball. He's going to probably look long. And he does, and we should be able to contain this. And um, 
But here come Everton, and we usually do give away a goal right in the last minutes, but this time the header goes wide of the post, and it remains Everton nil, Swansea 5. We have a goal kick, and here comes Williams. Williams bringing it out from the back. He will look to play it short, but he's going on a, on a run. He's going up the wing, and he's looking for Vitinha with a through ball, and Vitinha has found Brozier, and Brozier has made it 6-0, and that is Brozier's fifth goal of the game. And I've never had a player in FM score five goals in a single game. And leave a note in the comments. Have you ever had a player in FM score five goals in a single game? This is the first time for me. Brozier has been absolutely clinical today. And we have just simply brushed aside Everton. And Everton, who are in 18th place in the league, have looked like they really are relegation fodder today. Armati is looking for Vitinha, and that's easily cut out by Everton. We're just waiting now for the referee to blow the final whistle, and we will go home a happy team. Uh, another three points, as there's a long clearance, and we are over the, t the time added on, and it won't be very nice if Everton actually take away the clean sheet now um, in time added on, added on, <laughs> as it were. But um, surely now the whistle's got to come. 6-0 up, and let's not give away a goal here, lads. And there is a chance, and it's a great save by Stankovic, and surely now, referee, it is full time. It is Everton nil, Swansea 6. That was just a complete victory. And we just tell, we you absolutely blew them away. And so they did. And so we, uh, Manchester City also have won heavily. They've beaten Crystal Palace by four goals to one. It continues neck and neck. When we win, City win. Uh, when we draw, City draw. It's just going that way. And I think um, if we look at uh, what is coming up, um, the next game that we have is an FA Cup game. And um, against Leicester at home, I think we should go and play that game now. And so the team for today is Stankovic in goal with Mela, Williams, Buongiorno and Cambiasso at the back. Berg, Grimes, Shortire and Adley in midfield with Corey White and Vatinia up front. And we need to continue our run of good form. And Leicester, really, it's a game that we should be winning. And so I am expecting us to do... Uh, to, to do the business and um, I'm going to tell them this is a game we should be winning go out there make sure we do and um, we will um, hopefully get the result that we need and we will progress to the fifth round of the FA Cup um, sometimes I feel not too optimistic because you can't win all the competitions <laughs> and so is this a day where it's not gonna happen who knows it is Leicester Leicester who are looking to play the ball forward and um, that's a long ball forward and here is this guy McNeil McNeil who we did identify as a danger and we've managed to close him down um, this time and it is a long ball forward Madison is looking to build again for Leicester it goes all the way back to the goalkeeper and here's Fafana Fafana is looking to bring Leicester forward and Leicester are giving us a game here and we do need to be very careful as McNeil skips past his man and Leicester have scored it's Daka um, who has provided the finish for Leicester but it is very poor defending um, and maybe I'm going to ask Cambiasso to play a support duty because McNeil looks very, very lively on that side. Leicester have taken the lead. This is not part of the plan. And um, we are looking unsure of ourselves in this game. And this is not what we wanted to see. Um, we have had the better of the, the chances, but we haven't put any away. And... Um, Mailer is looking like he's taken a knock, so he's going to have to come off. 
and we don't have a replacement. We're going to have to play Timo Zal at right back now, which is typical FM. If you don't have the resources, that's what they're going to do. As Cambiasso looks to bring the ball forward, can we get an equaliser? Here's Grimes. Grimes, a stalwart of this Swansea team. We need a big game from him. He's looking for Berg. Berg fires a shot, and it goes wide of the post. This is not looking good um, at the moment. We are being taken apart by Leicester. Um, Williams. Williams looks for Buongiorno. Buongiorno. He's going to try and find Cambiasso. Cambiasso to Grimes. Just settle down, boys. Just play some good football. Let's try. And and here's Vatinia in space. Vatinia has made it 1-1. The referee is having a look at VAR. And I think he might be offside. Um, I think VAR is going to actually say he was offside. And yes, he was just a, just a tad offside. It looked to my eyes like he, yeah, just a yard or so offside. But that's better from Swansea, and we need more of that. We are dominating the game, and... Oh, and he's hit the bar, and that was a chance. Buongiorno hit the crossbar. And we hopefully, if we can keep this momentum up, we will we will come back into this game. But it is Leicester. Leicester with a corner, and that's well claimed by Stankovic. Stankovic, he's going to look, play it short. We don't oh, and Stankovic fires the ball upfield, but it does fall to Corey White. Corey White, what can you do? He's looking for Grimes. Grimes to Shortire. Shortire looks for Zal on the right. And he's come on for the injured. Uh, Mailer Adley with a cross into the box, and that is easily defended by Leicester. And this, I think we need to make some changes here. This is not going very well, and um, we are looking to play it up the right again. Here's Vatinia, Vatinia to Adley, Adley into the box, and there is Corey White. Was he offside? I have a funny feeling he was offside too. He might just have strayed into an offside position. VAR is having a look, but no, I think it has been given. And it is Swansea 1, Leicester 1. Brilliant cross by Adley and Corey White. Brilliant header at the back post. We are back in the game, but it's still a game that could go either way. And Leicester are giving us a much better game than I thought they would be giving us. But we are back in the game, and on 31 minutes, it's Swansea 1, Leicester 1. And as you can see from the stats, we are having much the better of the game, and um, we should be ahead. Um, our finishing hasn't been great, um, but at half-time, I think I'm fairly pleased. Um, I, I'm, I think we can very much win this game, keep working hard, um, I need them to step up now and show why we are expected to win this game. And um, Zal is actually having a tidy game at right back. Um, and it is a Swansea free kick as Adley fires the ball in. And that was a chance for Shortire, but he was offside. And um, we are dominating the game. We're just not... Um, I think probably we made to make some changes. Vatinia now has got himself injured. So we'll bring on Brozier. Um, and uh, we'll maybe need to make... Uh, Shorter possibly needs to come off. Um, so we will bring on Maggio for Shorter. And um, let's hope that we can go on and um, score the goal that we need to score. We've dominated the game. And a victory should be on the cards but Leicester are giving us a very good game they they are up for this and here comes Justin on the left hand side and he's going to look to get across him it's deflected and it goes all the way back to Stankovic and Stankovic picks the ball up and he's going to look to feed it short but it is coming up to full time we don't really want to um, have a replay um, as Adley fires in the corner and Reese Williams Reese Williams has done the business and we are now going to try and close this game up and a brilliant corner headed in at the near post by Reese Williams and we are now um, in control of the game it is Swansea 2 Leicester 1 are we going to make it to the fifth round 
and we're just gonna now hopefully see the game out Swansea are there we must be there come on oh and we do have a corner and it's Adley with the corner and that is cleared away it comes back to Adley Adley looks inside he finds Reese Williams and it's Adley again and Adley and it's Reese Williams and Adley's had a good game today Grimes Grimes finds Cambiasso Cambiasso with the ball into the box and Corey White has that been allowed the referee is looking at VAR yet again and it would be nice if Corey White could get that one has it been allowed the goal has been disallowed Corey White's had a brilliant game and he sh he's been very very unlucky um, we're into the dying seconds now we just need to hold on hold on boys and we're into the fifth round of the FA Cup and here's Grimes Grimes is looking for white but that's cleared away into touch and it remains Swansea 2 Leicester 1 we've had to do this the hard way but we have done it and I feel like just waiting for the final whistle now Grimes and I don't know what happened there but it finds its way to Cambiasso but we are looking at that offside decision he was marginally offside it is full time and Swansea have beaten Leicester by two goals to one and what a fabulous comeback that was um, but we we need to raise our performances um, in coming game weeks we're not um, as effective up front as I would like us to be but a win is a win and we have done it and we remain in the FA Cup and it will be very interesting to see what the draw comes up with and uh, Vitinha uh, being injured is of course a worry um, and I'm too scared to look at what's happened to him but we um, have some some good games coming up and uh, I think it might be good to come back for Manchester City and Nice in the um, Champions League first knockout round second leg so we'll have the Caribou Cup final next with the game the second leg against Nice and that's it for this video if you are brand new to this channel then why not subscribe like watch and comment help the channel to grow and help us to support the very worthwhile cause you can see scrolling above and so from a very very happy Liberty Stadium top of the league still in the FA Cup in the Caribou Cup final in the Champions League first knockout round we will bid you all farewell and we will see you for the Caribou Cup final against Manchester City.